Hello, I'm James and welcome to my little guide to ARM2 editing. Um, this episode is going to be about the effects button in waypoints and triggers. i done a little bit of research on it and this is basically just a basic overview of what it's all about. So let's get started click the little effects button at the bottom. Now this is in triggers and waypoints and basically effects are just um, visual and audio um, bits you can add that uh, execute when the trigger or waypoint is completed. It's just there to add a little bit more depth I suppose but um, all it, it doesn't really alter gameplay it's all just cosmetic so the first box that says true in it is called the condition block and this uh, can be used to require a condition that must be satisfied in order to execute the chosen effects now I don't know exactly how you would code that, but um, I'm sure if you go on the BI, BSI, or Bohemian Interactive forums, you'll be able to find something on there. The next one down is Anonymous, and this allows you to play an anonymous voice sample. The audio will seem to be coming from a nearby source or players for players in the mission. Voice does, sim does something similar, I think. Ah, yeah. Causes the group leader to say a voice sample with limp lip movements. Environment. These are all drop down menus, by the way. Environment. Third one down. Plays a chosen environmental soundscape. Eep sound. Ah, yes, this is just for adding ambient noise, rain, rain, even. Um, triggers, right, the definition I got here is a little bit poor, but um, the basically this is just another sound one, from what I can see and uh, figure out, but um, if you have any other better definitions for the trigger drop down menu please put them in the comments below. If actually if you have any useful information on this box at all please put it in the comments below. Next we go to track. Much simpler. This plays music really. A chosen music track. Type a little more complicated. You get four different uh, settings here. The first one, object, well the first one is none, which does nothing. Um, the second one is object, which, you, which is used to create a predefined 3D object in front of the player's field of vision. Now what on earth that means, I don't exactly know, but it does say here that it is not likely to be of any use in in a mission. Um, resource uh, used to display a predefined graphical resource over the player's field of vision. So how that differs from object, again I don't know, but this is just the definitions I've got, and hopefully this will provide some kind of basic uh, starting off point for you to go off and find more information. Text will display a text, the text entered in the text box below. Ah, yes, in that text there. And if Effect, right, 
there will only have effect if type is none as it's set to now and the text box is empty it creates the same effect as the cut text command would get would give the same type would give in the same type. hmm that's not the clearest thing but um I think this is just basically camera effects and text the last one which is this one this last black box this option will only be available if the type is none and it will either behave as a drop down list of available resources or object types or a box in which to enter text hmm. well I hope that helped I hope you can help me learn more about this because after all I am only learning and um, I'll see you next time thank you for watching goodbye